Welcome to the Bearded Bama Bush Crafter. Today, I'm going to carve a pumpkin. Been carving pumpkins pretty much throughout the week. That's um something I enjoy doing with the kids. We'll figure out a face they want, draw it on there and carve it out, and we make them a jack-o'-lantern. Kind of a little tradition we do. And it's a little fun thing. So I've got an idea for a face. And I'm going to put it kind of like that spot right there. Got some neat gnarly little warty looking things. So I'm going to just sit here and carve this pumpkin and share a video. Y'all stand by. All right, I just took the cap off, and yesterday I was finally able to get my oldest son in the car with his pumpkin. He's been real busy here lately with baseball, and he was trying out for the junior high team, and he made it. So I'm excited about that. And yesterday we took time to, to carve his pumpkin. I'd never seen it when we cut it open. Normally it looks like that. The inside of his pumpkin was like liquefied and uh, it didn't smell bad or anything but just all this pulp was just it looked gross but um it worked it out and we carved it and made a cool looking jack-o-lantern all right getting all this pulp scraped off the walls I always like keeping the pumpkin, the, the meaty part, I like keeping it thick. The jack-o'-lanterns last longer. The thinner you make them, the quicker that they rot. I've learned that over time. So I just kind of basically like to do a, a light scraping on the inside. I just use a spoon, a good knife or two for the carving and cutting up. Every time I carve a pumpkin, I think of Linus. On the, it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. He, and uh, what was his sister's name? Was it Lucy? No, Lucy's Charlie Brown's in it. I can't think of her name. Susan? Whatever her name was. She was the main one, the brunette. And she went to cut into that pumpkin and Linus started screaming, didn't know you was going to kill it. Always enjoyed those cartoons. They don't make them like that anymore. All right, well, I got to dump this stuff out. Got a bunch of seeds in here. I'm going to dump it where it'll be out of the way from the shelter. Alright, got that dumped out. I'm going to draw the face on here. I'm sitting here thinking of those uh, peanut characters. Is Lucy Lias' sister's name? And is it Alice? No, that ain't Alice. It's Charlie Brown's sister. I can't remember their names. It's funny. Seen those cartoons a bunch of times. But I can't think of their names. But she was always kind of tough. Had a little stand where she would give advice. Y'all comment below. Help me out with the names of these Charlie Brown characters. And uh, help me get them right. All right, so I'm going to draw the face on it. I think I'm going to just do the face right here. Got a pretty cool idea for a face. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so far. Urgh. Had to do some cleaning up on it. You what you guys think? You should make a hole on the bottom and put it on a head. Put on a head, make a head, uh, a mask. There we go. All righty. Now I've got to put a candle in it. I had read that many, many years ago, people believed that the jack-o'-lanterns kept evil spirits away. And there's a legend about Jack. I think a jack-o'-lantern or whatever. I don't remember the whole story, but it was something about he made a deal with the devil. And he supposedly out-tricked the devil and he roams around now throughout the countryside. The jack-o'-lantern is a head or something like that. And then the headless horseman, of course. He's a Hessian soldier. 
that Washington Irvin wrote Legend of Sleepy Hollow? And uh, supposedly he lost his head from a cannonball or something like that. And the pumpkin, the jack o' lantern he used as a pumpkin. I wonder if this says where the pumpkin came from. Let's see. Moosin Brothers Farms, product of the USA. Family owned. That's pretty cool. Pumpkins don't grow down here. There is one pumpkin patch that is an original pumpkin patch that's in, I believe, Valley, Alabama. And they had gotten with Auburn. And I believe some people there with their horticulture department. And they developed pumpkins that do grow here. But most of the pumpkins, <laughs> first pumpkin patch, excuse me, that I've ever seen, that I've, the first pumpkin patch that I saw was in North Georgia. It's coming back from North Carolina one time and just happened to look down in this little hollow from the road and there was all these pumpkins growing so we stopped and it's pretty fascinating to see a pumpkin patch that thing was huge there were thousands of pumpkins growing but there's my jackal lantern pieces, pieces of stick all right guys if y'all go out the night trick-or-treating y'all be safe be careful have a good time need some, hair. need some hair molly's got him some hair you like this one sue her favorite one. Alright. Y'all take care guys. Be safe. We'll see you next time.